Well, hello again. For today I have a special uh, task. One of my subscribers, Jonas Beckham, just asked me how I put the things together. You know, the solar panels, the wiring, and then uh, the uh, inverter, the sun inverter with uh, limiter. I'm gonna do that with a proper wiring uh, schematic diagram and for the beginning I have to tell you that this is still an experimental thing so it's work in progress it's nothing fixed yet I'm just trying to find a solution for the cables for the wiring you know to have the best uh, amperage and uh, the best uh, length of wiring and uh, for now I'm like I said I'm only experimenting the things. Let's begin with the panels. You see I have this kind of panels here. These are rated to 150 watts and uh, like 22 volts. Let's say 20 volts each of them. So I have one here. You see this one and I have another one here. And these are going in series. In series like plus. From one panel goes to minus to the other one and then we have the main plus out and the minus goes to this uh, connector here and with a strong cable it's going to some mixer connection okay the other panel it's kind of different because this one it's already with 72 cells so this one it's exactly like two of these in series this one here gives me already let's say 40 volts like two of these in series I've been lucky because I could find almost the same situation we have 36 cells and 36 cells here so 72 in total so I have 72 already in total here okay so this one also is going to a connector here and then through those MC4 connectors another strong wire this one is a little bit stronger this one gives like uh, 350 watts 9 amps and around 38 to 40 volts okay so this one also goes to to the mixer let's say and finally two of these 36 cells same story these are also in series you see plus with plus from there it's going to minus the other side and uh, eventually plus and minus goes to the main connector and here in the main connector I put all the plus and the minuses together let me open it up and show it. okay so here we have the main connector I may say so all the pluses from the panels so we have the other side we have all the minuses for all three panels okay so these double ones you see this is plus going down and minus going down I double them because one cables like one cable like this uh, I think it was a little bit small for the currents and uh, you see when it's full sunshine then I have like let's say 8 amps here 8 there and another 8 so it's like uh, 24 amps and uh, you really need good cables for carrying 24 amps to the inverter even if it's a distance like maybe uh, 2 meters 2.5 meters down to the storage room Okay, so this is the main connector here. All the panels are getting here. And uh, now a little remark. You see all these metal frames like this and this. And the other one should be earthed. What means earthed? It means like uh, to have a ground, a strong ground connection because in a stormy weather all these metal parts are charging electrostatic charging and uh, it's dangerous for for uh, the inverters and the other electronics involved in this process 
uh, and I had things like that before. I had my routers and my uh, cameras and some other stuff, you know, blowing uh, because of uh, charging, electrostatic charging anyway. So that's dangerous. Uh, I don't have that yet, but I'm working on it. You see that yellow cable over here to so this long fan. I have a big long metal fan and it's a perfect ground connection. Okay, so this is for the panels and how I put them together. And now let's go downstairs to talk about the inverter and how I use it. Okay, so I have the the wires from the panels going down here and I have a hole in here and everything goes over there okay so I have a couple of wires there because I'm also having some extra panels and an extra charger for some 12 volts batteries and that's but that's another story so I don't let's not talk about that now okay so here is the inverter let me do some changings here to have the to have the screen always on it's very easy to do that you see this is an inverter a grid tie inverter with limiter and that's the limiter in here it have an internal limiter and it have an external limiter. I'm using the internal one. And this one is going through this wire, this black wire, going around there. And then it's going down here. You see? And everything goes to the main to the main uh, power entrance in the house to the main connection I may say. You see here we are using one phase 240 volts and a null. We call that zero or earth or ground or whatever. But it's not don't consider that like like the ground for uh, prevent uh, electroshocks and all these things. No, it's a phase and a null I may say. So the limiter it's getting the information from the phase, from the main phase into the house and supply the power from the panels to the grid in perfect concordance with the consumption. So it's not delivering more, all the electrical appliances in the house are taking in a certain moment. And that's very nice because I have no energy leaking or let's say no power production to the grid is very important because uh, the electricity supplier it's catching me with a uh, power production is gonna be a mess now all this uh, electronic counters so we call that counters yeah uh, they are so damn clever so they can feel if you if you inject energy into the grid okay so finally you see these are those two wires from from the roof if you remember two and two and uh, this goes to this connector here and finally goes plus and minus into into the inverter it's a good advice use really strong cables uh, you can think about double the size of the cables to be sure about you see the the yellow one here it's the ground for you know for uh, protection to the other uh, to the other solar install for my batteries and 12 volts i'm using to supply my cameras and wi-fi and whatever around the house but that, that's another story over there for now i'm talking about this the most important thing most of all is to put it on the limiter and this is very easy to do so we have the limiter here connected already okay then we go to to the gear sign you see this one here you push the gear sign here and up here and up there you see we have limit mode 
this needs to be on and it's easy to take that you see if I push this it's off then I push it back and then you go with this arrows up and down up and down and we go to internal limiter in my case it's internal limiter and then it's the backlight here if you want the backlight running all the time I don't like that because the LCD have a problem when it's on all the time and I don't need it all the time and also here are some other uh, things about the power level so you can have your own levels you know this one can deliver one kilowatt one thousand watts but you can you can uh, you can make it you know to to have 300 watts or 500 watts or depends of what you need and down here the last one it's about power adjustments when the machine is using a set of batteries so we can have this one it's working from 22 volts to I think it's 60 volts so I can have uh, 48 volts batteries and then over here I can adjust how many watts to deliver and also proper uh, voltages for turning on and off the inverter well for now I'm not using that so now it's going straight by the panels you know the panels are connected straight to this one and then to the grid a little remark here because down here it's pretty hot you know it's summer and we have like uh, 30 okay it's 27 degrees today but inside here it's pretty hot so a little help with an extra fan like I showed you before doesn't hurt this one it's working all the time and gives a little cooling uh, boost I may say and that's it about uh, about the the inverter a really nice machine I really love it and there are some other menus over here but I don't want to to get into details because they've been showed uh, by others so so many times let's say we can see now the grid waveform so that's a perfect sinus waveform we can have here the energy menu so I have a very clear statistic about hours and uh, production so uh, I can see it there but it's looking like we already have like 2.8 kilowatts for today okay so that's a daily power statistics and uh, of course uh, we have a date and hour adjustment no and the one about the inverter function limiting functions and all the stuff I showed you before for now let me have this off okay now it's off it's the backlight for the LCD I don't need that so push home then you go to ES and push gear and that's it now the display is turning off after after 10 seconds or something anyway of course the any settings and any new sendings you see the LCD is off the inverter it's turning itself on and off after doing a setting adjustment uh, there is something else I have to show you the way I have another power control or let's say production control you see this one down here it's going to the mains by a son off I think this is POWR2 and this this, uh, this really nice device have also a schedule function so I can turn the inverter on and off in between certain hours so I don't want this to be on 
for the night so around eight o'clock when the sun is down I turn it off in fact this one the sun off is turning everything off and it's back on at eight o'clock in the morning and of course I have fuses before sending everything through this cable to the maze. That's a really clever concept with limiting the power production. I mean, it keeps the production inside the house. Now let me show you how the limiting sensor is connected. So, here we have the main fuses and switches for the whole house. This one here, down here, you see, I have a phase over here. The light is on. So this one is the main power wire. This one is coming from the grid. It's where I connect, it's where I connect the sensor. You see the sensor, it's right there. Checking the current and checking the power all the time. And there is a sensor over there, you see? Uh, I'm gonna try to have it into the other way. Because there is an error over there. For now I'm really satisfied the way it's working. Well, the numbers are almost the same, so I don't feel any difference. Uh, but I got the feeling that somehow the arrow of the sensor should be like this. I mean from the grid to the house, following the, uh, the route, you know, following the route uh, from the mains to, to the house distribution somehow. Okay, I, I'll just let it like this for now. I couldn't find any information about the, if, if the sensor sense matters. But somehow I got the feeling that uh, in this way it's uh, I have better production. Wow, it's 182. But you see the sun is going on and off, <laughs> I may say. So that's why it's not a constant uh, uh, measuring. But anyway, I'll check, I'll check this in time to see if it really matters and uh, I'll let you know. Okay, so that's it for now people. I hope this is useful. And... Uh, First of all, I really ask you to help me with subscribing because this project needs a lot of time and uh, it really helps me to have uh, subscribers, you know, to keep this project running and it should be nice to have a kind of feedback from you also and uh, why not, let's talk about things and share ideas and change ideas and experience and so on. That's it for now. Thank you very much, folks. Be safe and see you soon with some other projects. Bye-bye.